I am back at it again, dyeing this head of hair. The only difference is obviously I'm not doing the full lock. And I also changed my toner to this Wella T14 Pale Ash Blonde color. So I am trying to get away from that golden blonde that I did last time. But like, look how much this has grown out. I'm excited. It's been seven months since I did this. And it's been like nine months since I locked my hair. I'm sure you guys can see a difference between last time, but I'm just so excited to see what this is gonna look like. Try not to get any of the bleach on the already bleached hair, but I guarantee that didn't happen. Guaranteed. Okay, so I had to mix some more for the top. I truly cannot believe how many of you guys watched that last video. It's at like 10k. I mean, I'm not complaining. Thank you. No? With this method, I just know that there's going to be a bunch of dark spots that I just never got around to hitting. It's okay. If I wanted perfection, I would have gone to a colorist. But I didn't. Because I don't really care that much. There's some ends that definitely got a leash on them. This is after rinsing the first time. There are some spots that are a little bit brighter, like right here. But um, for the most part, it's like a reddish brown. So I'm gonna go back through. I already mixed up some more bleach and I'm gonna go through and apply probably for another five, 10 minutes. I have very dark hair, so. Been, the second one has been on for like five minutes. I 
feel like I'm gonna wait and let it develop a little bit longer. In the meantime, I'm gonna mix up the toner. So it says one part toner, two parts developer. It says 20 developer, I mean 20 volume developer. I only have 30, so that's what we gonna use. So I did not have enough storage to record the um, toner process, but I'm just gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes. Well, I'm gonna check it in 10 minutes. I'm removing some of my edges. All right, y'all. It's been about eight minutes with the toner in, and I'm gonna trust the process because the gray look a little scary, but I do know that I am going ash blonde instead of the honey blonde that I was previously using. So, you know, it's expected. There's a couple dark spots, but like, I'm not too mad at it. My scalp is feeling a little tingly, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out and I'm gonna use this purple shampoo, which will also help tone it. So, I might not show you directly after because I'm gonna um, deep condition and then I gotta retwist my hair, but you will see the final results. Believe it. Hi friends. So I never ended up making an outro for this video. Life just got a hold of me. I was sick, whatever. But um, at this point, my retwist is obviously not fresh, but this is the color that it ended up being. Um, I didn't leave it on my hair too, too long. So my roots aren't like super blonde. They're more of like an orangish brown, but the toner did do nicely on the ends. It's a lot more ash blonde than it is golden blonde. And I think that I like that better, especially as the summer's coming up. The My last color was just so bright. And I think I wanted, like, I wanted to tone it down a little bit. But um, yeah, I'm super happy with it. I, I will say that this bleaching process wasn't as fun as the last time. Um, I don't know, something about just dyeing the roots. It was like really hard for me to get all the product in there and do my whole head like i felt like by the time i got my whole head done i needed to rinse out a certain section and i didn't really have that problem when i was doing my whole hair it was kind of hard to balance and i felt like i needed to bleach it a few times in order to like actually get to the color i wanted but then i got to a point where i didn't want to bleach it anymore and so i just put the toner in and it's not exactly what i thought it would be like it's still kind of dark but i'm not mad at it like I probably wouldn't bleach my hair again after this. If anything, I'll just tone it and see if that brightens it at all. And if it doesn't, then I guess it wasn't meant to be. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely not as well put together as my last one, but I'm not really tripping. Anyway, um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys when I see you.